Hello, in this video we will learn the technique of making your deformer paintable so that you can start painting your deformation on the meshes. This process is very simple and it's a two-step process because most of the things are already there which we have not explored yet. So first, let's take a look at what we are going to do in these two steps. First thing, after you enable or after your user paints the meshes you will read the weight of each vertex so user what user will do user will paint the weights on each vertex and then we will read the weight of each vertex after reading the weights of each vertex we will use it in our calculation So this is the two-step process which we are going to do in our deformer node. Now, the face of the deformer node which we have studied so far or we remember so far is this. So deformer node comes with a couple of attributes and couple of functions and input, weight list and envelope is one, I mean are the are some of the attributes which we discussed in the previous tutorials and compute and deform functions are, were also discussed in last tutorials. Now we will see or we will explore the deformer node a little bit more and we will see one more attribute which is weights and one more function which is weight value. So these attribute and functions come with deformer node and we are going to use them to read the paint values or the weight values on the vertices and use them in our calculation. So weight value is the function that is used to read the weight of each vertex and it takes three arguments or parameters one is the data block and it's the same data block that is passed to the deform function and then geometry index so if your deformer is applied on multiple meshes we would need the index of the geometry that is affected which is geometry index and the third thing we need is the index of the vertex on a mesh. So using this vertex index we will read the weight of that particular vertex and to read the weights of complete mesh we will go through all the vertex index of this mesh. So let's get back to Maya and start writing some code for these two steps which we have just learned. So now I am in Maya session and I have loaded the script which we wrote in the previous chapter or the previous tutorial in which we optimized this deformer node and we will be extending the same script for this tutorial. So we just saw that we will use a weight function that comes with deformer node and to grab the weight of each vertex we will have to go through all vertex indices and we know that in somewhere in our code we are going through all the vertices and which is right here we are using a geometry iterator and we are going through all the vertices to find out its position. 
So why not use the weight value function here and read the weights of the vertices and use them. So what I would do is I would start writing the code and I would first use weight value function. And because this com function comes with deformer node, I will use self weight value. And then I will pass three parameters. The first is data block that is passed to deform function as well. Second is geometry index, which is the geometry or the index of the geometry, which is affected. And the third is the index of the vertex itself. And we know that a geometry iterator is giving us the index of each vertex. So why not use that? Okay, now I have provided three different or three required arguments by this function. Now I will store the weight value which is retrieved by this function in a variable. So I'm done with my first step. I have read the weight value. Now I'm going to use this weight value and the way I will use this weight value is similar to the way we used the envelope value. So when the envelope value is zero, there is no deformation effect. And when it's one, the full deformation effects, effect is there. So we will use our weight value here. So when the weight value is zero, there should not be any effect. And when the weight value is one, which is full, there should be a full effect. So whenever the weight value is zero, this complete calculation becomes zero and there is no effect on the x, y and z position of the vertex. So we have applied our two steps and let's save this script. And I will save it as ripple weight dot pi. And then I will reopen new session of Maya and then we will load the deformer and apply it on the mesh. So here we are in new Maya session. I would first import Maya dot cmds as cmds and then I will load my plugin, load plugin which is inside C drive plugin and the name of the file is ripple weight dot pi. Okay, let's load that. I'll just clear it up and so that I can see any error. So there is no error, it has loaded the script prop fine, and then I would create a mesh and apply the deformer on it cmds dot deformer type the name of the deformer which is ripple deformer okay so it has applied the deformer properly now I will go back to the channel editor and add some amplitude value and then I would start painting the weights on the vertex or on the mesh and the way I would paint it is I would right click on my mesh and I would go to paint ripple deformer and weights by default all the vertices are painted to white which is value 1 I will replace them with zero value so there is no effect of deformation now I would add a little bit of paint here and smooth, I will apply smooth a couple of times. Okay, let's get back and tweak the values. 
so you can see the deformation effect only on those vertices where we painted our weight you can paint it several times you want And see the effect of it. So that is how we make our deformer paintable and start using the paint feature of it. So that's it and thank you.